Hello everybody, Saka here again with the Kerbal's first man-made satellite mission. Of course, that was Sputnik on Earth, so it shall be Sputnik again. I'm sorry I didn't come up with any Kerbal-related name for Sputnik, whether it be Ker Kerbutnik or Robotnik or something like that. But we are ready to launch. The schematics for this rocket is located on the Kerbal Space Program wiki in the tutorials, and there will be a link in the description. But we are ready to launch, much like our last ballistic mission, but we are taking off much, much faster this time around, thanks to those four radially mounted engines on the side. Now, unlike our previous rocket, where our stages were located directly above one another, these shall separate and fly outwards and give us some sort of a visual show as we leave the confines of Kerbal's gravity. Well, I guess not. We're not leaving the sphere of influence, but we are uh, cheating it by falling around it. But uh, our, as you can see, our fuel is draining very quickly out of those engines, so here in a second we shall detach them. We are already about to do our gravity turn, so as soon as these engines fly off in a graceful ballet, fire the next engine, pivot to the 90, or at least try to, uh, the new Kerbal update made the command or the command capsules and uh, artificial controllers uh, less torque. Uh, they don't turn the rocket as well, so I'm relying on the little torque that the Stay Putnik probe up there can give me and this gimbling engine but we are holding on the 90 and flying eastward and unlike the last mission where my goal was to just launch and bring them home this time I won in orbit so I have a satellite that just stays up there very quickly my apoaps hit a uh, hundred thousand meters so that happened very quickly we are one well I'm American, my metric is off. One kilometer above the... No, that was a thousand. So a hundred kilometers above the Kerbal surface. So now I'm just getting my apoaps and paraps somewhat close. I want a somewhat circular orbit. So I go fidgeting with a delta V sum, pulling in, pulling out. That's what she said. And adjusting the burn point on the maneuver node, and when you're at the uh, peak of apoaps, the timing of firing is essential, which we soon shall see, but I have my maneuver set up, and it'll be a 30 second burn, so I orientate my rocket towards the blue maneuver node indicator there, and I'll need 1500 meters a second delta V, which luckily this engine and fuel system is capable of doing, so it's uh, a minute out, so I'll just uh, once again burn at the 50-50 mark, which will be about 15 seconds, so, or 16 if you want to be exact. So I fast forward time a bit as we climb to our 100 kilometer orbit, or our 100 kilometer apoaps, and fire. And I was a little late, and uh, this is a perfect tutorial to show exactly why you shouldn't be late when you set up your maneuver nodes as bad things can happen. So I go out to the orbit screen and things are looking well, looking well, and then I pass my apoapsis while still burning, which is <laughs> an equation for, for bad things. So I won't be gaining any altitude, and because I'm burning, my apoaps on the other side is climbing really, really quick. And now I'm out of fuel. So <laughs> what I have is what I got. So you run what you brung. I'm at a 77 by 342, which is not circular by any means, but it should not fall back into the Kerbin atmosphere, which is the most important thing for a satellite, otherwise it just becomes debris. So we're ready to launch Sputnik off into, the, into its orbit, and that flew away very quickly. And of course, extend the antennas. And as uh, Sputnik would say at this point, beep, beep. And it's crazy to think that this thing, well, the real Sputnik scared the crap out of Americans back in the 50s because it meant that the Russians could touch us. And we, they, they were first in space. Holy crap, that's not supposed to happen. But it did, and now Kerbin has their own version of Sputnik in orbit. And hopefully in a later mission, I don't hit this thing. Maybe put it out, put it out of its misery. But there's the moon, which is an eventual destination of ours. 
I have two pieces of uh, space debris in the air. One is in a functioning satellite, the other is just a dead husk of fuel cell and engine. But the next uh, step in the Kerbin space program is to have a Kerbal actually orbit Kerbin. So just for, uh, for longevity's sake, I orientate my satellite to get the solar panel facing the sun and recharge my electric charge so those antennas can taunt ham radio operators down on the planet for the rest of eternity. But until next time, I'm Sokka.